between the six rabbits, there are quite a number of different poses. So some of the rabbits are sitting upright, their ears are alert, they're really looking out for predators and they're, they're wary. Other ones are moving forward, they're inquisitive. And so by having six rabbits, it did allow me to show a number of gestures. There's something to the rabbits coming together the way they are as a bunch, which made it interesting and has a force and an energy that one rabbit wouldn't have had. The introduction of a few rabbits could do little harm and might provide a touch of home in addition to a spot of hunting. That's what they thought in 1859, that rabbits destroyed a lot of farmland and uh, yeah, and in the end they ended up building massive fences, traps, lots of things, even introducing a disease to kill the rabbits, which now they're all immune to. So they were very overpopulated. rabbits just took off. Um, they, there were very few curbs to them, few mm. predators. The breeding environment was absolutely perfect. They could breed all through the year. Is it, is it, how many litters do they have a year? Uh, five to seven. Whoa. So they spread unbelievably quickly. Probably mm. the, the quickest spread of a mammal anywhere in the world ever. Why? So they started out near Geelong in 1859. Mm -hmm. So they moved roughly 100 kilometres a year. So by 1910, they... Jenny Polak is an Australian artist and poet working predominantly in sculpture, photography and video installation. Jenny's early experiences of rabbits were complex. On the one hand, she developed a love of nature and an understanding of the natural environment where she lived and saw the powerful effect of introduced, invasive species such as the rabbit on its animals, plants and environments. On the other hand, as a child, Jenny and her sister Anna kept adored pet rabbits one white, one black that they took for walks. 